Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be filming a favorites and fails video. I also did just film my second trimester recap, so if I look the same, that's why. Because I just filmed that. So I don't really think I've done an official favorites, especially not a fails video. But there's so many products I've tried within the last maybe six months or so or a little longer that I have just been absolutely loving and I just wanted to make a dedicated video to them to have them all in one spot. I love watching favorites and fails videos because I like to see what people, what products they really like or really don't like and then also when they really like some products that I also really like. When, when you like the same type of products I like to watch those videos because then they show me new products that I might want to try. And I know I'll most likely like because that person likes the same things that I do. You guys get the point. We all know why we watch favorites and fails videos. I don't need to explain it. But I do want to uh, start with the fails because there's a few. And honestly, the fails sometimes are a little bit more fun <laughs> to watch maybe. Okay, so the first one is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. This is a makeup remover balm uh, it also says that you can use it as a face mask if you would like to now I will say I have eczema really bad eczema on my hands if you happen to be watching this video of mine for the first time if, if you're a returning viewer you know I've struggled with eczema one of the things I'm allergic to is oat so I don't know if this has something to do with it it might have something to do with it but I don't like the consistency of this I don't feel like it does that great of a job taking off my makeup when I use a balm it's because I have a lot of makeup on and I really want to make sure to get the mascara off but I will also say I am comparing this to the Clinique take the day off cleansing balm and I think that might have been the f original cleansing balm to hit the market and it's kind of hard to beat that one's like so good I, any balm that I, I get I'm going to compare to the Clinique take the day off because it's just so good it doesn't burn my eyes it doesn't get my eyes cloudy it doesn't leave a, a residue on my skin and it just takes off all of my makeup and with this I feel like it does leave a residue and I feel like it makes well I don't feel like I know it makes my eyes cloudy if I get it on in my eyes I mostly use a cleansing balm to take off my mascara because usually my face makeup isn't that heavy anyway and I could just take it off with soap but if I'm going to the step of taking off makeup with a makeup remover I wanted to take off my mascara all in one go and this just does not do it although I think it's like 10 or 15 dollars at Sephora so if you're on a budget it could be a good option just maybe let it sit on your mascara for a little longer to let it break it down but I feel like the Clinique one just works all way faster for me. Although I will say the only thing I do like about this is that I have it in my shower. Currently I'm using it up. I'm not going to throw it out because it's in a squeeze tube, which is really nice in the shower. I won't take my Clinique take the day off tub in the shower because then like water is going to get in there. And I usually take off my makeup in the shower at nighttime. I'm going to talk about my nighttime routine. It's just easier if I find to take off my makeup I in the shower and I also like have a whole nighttime routine anyway I just said that so yeah it's just not my favorite it's not my favorite but the price is good the uh, next thing is lash princess mascara by essence my I had two family members actually recommend this to me so they do like it I I just did not like this mascara at all I feel like it didn't make my lashes longer or more voluminous I feel like my eyelashes looked worse after putting this on and after a few hours it would flake and be on my under eye which I can deal with the mascara like not doing much for my eyeballs or my eyelashes because I don't like wear heavy heavy makeup but if it's going to be falling onto my under eye and flaking that is my biggest pet peeve and I don't like waterproof mascara. And I have a handful of mascaras that are not waterproof, that don't flake. So this just did not do it for me. It is only $5. It is an affordable option. Maybe the waterproof one would be a little better if you like using waterproof mascara. This was 
a fail. I do really like the purple tube of the Essence Mascara. So the other two fails I don't have in my possession. One of them is the La Roche Posay Tinted Sunscreen. I have this one, the non-tinted sunscreen. This is actually going to be one of my favorites I'm going to talk about in a second. So I do like the La Roche Posay sunscreens. I just did not like the tinted sunscreen of this this one in tinted. I don't know if they have other tinted sunscreens, but the tinted version of this did not work. I feel like the tint was really orange, kind of like flaky. I don't know. I used it up. It was not my favorite. I'm not going to repurchase it. The last fail is going to be a <laughs> controversial one, but it's a TV show. And I just, I had high hopes for this TV show. I heard so much hype about it. Everyone loves this TV show. And I just thought it was the most boring, boring, boring show ever. And it is Succession. I hated watching that show. We watched all four seasons. And I was like, that's the entire show? That was it? That was all this show was? Like... It was so freaking boring. I The filming, the production of it, it was, I think they were trying to do something. I feel like I get dizzy watching it because like the, the, the videography of it was like shaky and I, I don't know if it's meant to be like to make you feel like you're there or something. I just thought it was literally so boring and dragged on and the ending, I just, there was, I feel like the plot sucked. I don't know. It just, and I kept thinking to myself, like, wow, I'm watching this from beginning to end all in one go. I've never seen it. We watched it right before we moved. We were staying with family and that we watched it there all four seasons. I just kept thinking, like, oh, we started a new season. I'm like, dang, people, like, waited a whole year for the next season to come out of this show. And that's all they got, like, that's so disappointing. Like, I would hate to watch one season and then wait so long for the next season to come out. And then the next season just also sucks. And I kept thinking, oh, okay, maybe the next season will be a little better. Nope, every episode sucked. The whole season, every season sucked. I didn't like a little, even a little bit of it. It was kind of okay. But I just kept watching it every season. I kept watching it because everyone... I feel like everyone online just hypes, would be like so excited, oh, another season of Succession, or I'm watching Succession tonight, and everyone, there's just so much hype about it, so I kept watching because I thought, oh, maybe it gets better like later, you know, and I've been, for years, since it's been out, I've been hearing so much hype about this show, and I just thought, oh, it's gonna, it has to get better, it literally sucked so bad, I hated it, <laughs> I don't know why, Everyone loves Succession. It might be one of the worst shows ever. I, it was not enjoyable. So, yeah, I don't know. If you haven't watched it, I'd say save your time and don't watch it because I don't know why there's so much hype around this show. It's so boring. Okay, so let's get into my favorites. I have a lot of beauty product favorites and then a few other favorites that aren't beauty related. First and foremost, I wanna give a little shout out to my CeraVe healing ointment. I feel like this is like, I just use this every single day and I love it so much, I never think about it, never think to mention it, but the CeraVe healing ointment is my favorite. I use it on my lips before I go to bed. I can't go to sleep until I put this on my lips. It's the best chapstick ever. I don't use chapstick, this is the only product I use and this is the best product ever. When I use tretinoin, right now I'm pregnant, so I don't use tretinoin or retinol because you're not supposed to. But when I do, and if say like my skin gets a little dry or irritated, you put a little bit this of this on at night on your whole face, and it makes it so soft and smooth. Just love. And I thought I wanted to give it an honorable mention because this is my first kind of favorites video, so I had to mention it. I don't even think about this product so much, but I literally. I'm always like, where is my CeraVe healing ointment? It's such a staple. Oh, really quick. I got a backtrack. I forgot to mention for my fails. Another fail is also Pureology shampoo and conditioner. I don't have them with me, but I wanted to love Pureology because the I know the leave-in conditioner for Pureology is really popular and I haven't tried it. So I'm not saying Pureology as a whole 
doesn't work for me. But I've tried two different sets of shampoo and conditioner from Pureology and I didn't like either of them. So I just wanted to mention that. I don't like them. I do like love their sister company, Redken. Yeah, I just really wanted to like Pureology, but for the price of the shampoo and conditioner you're paying for, I just feel like it didn't really do much for me and made my hair worse. So the shampoo and conditioner are kind of a fail. I don't know about their other products. I do kind of want to try their leave-in conditioner, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. But the shampoo and conditioners so far kind of suck. So anyway, back to my favorites. La Roche-Posay sunscreen, the non-tinted version. Love this. Lightweight. Protects my skin. There's not much else to say about it. It's like an affordable option. It's kind of a drugstore, but I feel like it's a little more expensive than drugstore or sunscreen. I just really like it. It doesn't break me out. It does have a sunscreen smell, I think, when you put it on, but it doesn't bother me. It goes away really fast. Another favorite is my Super Foliant by Dermalogica. This thing is kind of expensive. I think this is like $70, but I've had this forever and I use it all the time. I do go through stretches where I forget to use it, but I use it quite a bit. I still have so much. It is a kind of expensive, but I think it's worth it. It's a uh, exfoliant you could technically use every single day, but I don't feel like I have to. It's a chemical exfoliant, not really a physical one, although there is like, you can kind of feel a physical exfoliant, but it's technically a chemical one. I don't know. I love this. It makes your skin super soft. I use it a few times. I try to use it a few times a week. I also take this in the shower and I can use it on my neck and decollete area. It's a really nice daily exfoliant or weekly one. It's a powder and you like mix a little bit of water in it and make a paste. The Laneige Cream Skin Toner. I heard everyone talking about this for so long. I got this last year for Christmas and I have been loving it. I didn't know if I would really like it because I don't feel like you kind of need toner. But this is like a hydrating toner and I don't know it just makes my like I love putting it on and I feel like it makes my skin a little like softer and plumper but I just love putting this on it feels like so creamy and nice and like sinks in I just feel like it's really hydrating before I put my moisturizer on so I've been loving this it's lasted me a long time I only use it at night though and lately with pregnancy my Skin has been so dry. I feel like I usually have oily skin. So I did like that when I ha wasn't pregnant either, though. And I did have oily skin. I feel like I could get away with using it also in the morning. But my morning skincare is really minimal. Another skincare product, the Ordinary Buffet and Copter Copper Peptides. I love the serum. I think this is like my third bottle. Put this on in the morning. My normal skincare routine when I'm using tretinoin. I use my tretinoin at night and this is what I use in the morning under my moisturizer. I just feel like it makes my skin like look, I don't know, just so nice and plump and like rejuvenated. Just this and my tretinoin, best skincare combo ever for like morning and night skin. You don't want to use them together. But right now since I can't use my tretinoin, I've just been using this to exfoliate my skin. I've been using the peeling solution when I remember to right before my shower, maybe like once a week. I would like to use it twice a week, but it's like been one once a week. You don't really need that much. It's this like really deep red color. Do you leave it on for eight minutes? It just exfoliates. It's a chemical exfoliant also for your skin. I love this Kate Somerville cleanser. I feel like if you have acne prone skin, I, I feel like I've talked about this skin cleanser a lot. If you watch my videos, you probably like are familiar with all these products. But in case you are new to watching my videos and you have acne prone skin, you need to try this cleanser. Unless you're allergic to sulfur, which not a lot of people are, but some people are. But most people are not. I feel like sulfur is not a like popular enough acne product ingredient. Acne fighting ingredient, well known. Everyone talks about salicylic acid or tretinoin or benzoyl peroxide but sulfur for me is the best acne treatment if i use this cleanser i don't get pimples if i stop using this cleanser i get pimples right away so i just love this cleanser if you've ever used you know the mario badescu like pink the dots that everyone gets that's sulfur so if that works for you I would try using this 
morning and night or at least at nighttime. Now it's Kate Somerville so it is expensive but it's about like $40 I think. It lasts me almost a whole year and I use it every single night so I think it's worth it especially if you keep keeps your skin clear. I can notice when I'm not using this or like if I run out or something. This is my absolute favorite clen cleanser, face cleanser. I have to have this at all times. I just have acne prone skin and I feel like it's sulfur is not talked enough about in the acne clearing space. Like if you have acne and you've tried salicylic acid or something, like salicylic acid does not work for me. It, my skin doesn't like it. But sulfur, this keeps my skin clear. I love it. I haven't really tried another sulfur cleanser. I don't really know if there is another one out there. This one just does it for me. So I would highly recommend. I feel like the lighting, you can't really see it. I will always rave about this cleanser. I probably, this is probably like my seventh tube or something. I don't know. I just love this. I've got the CeraVe Hydrating Sheer Lotion or Sheer Sunscreen. Really watery and what I like to use this on is my neck and my decollete area because the La roche -Posay sunscreen, I feel like face sunscreens are kind of like thick sometimes and I feel like I don't want to tug that thick sunscreen onto my neck and decollete because it's really delicate. So this sunscreen is really watery can hear it. I just put this on my neck and my decollete when I'm applying my sunscreen to protect that area as well because you do want to protect your neck and sunscreen like you don't want to just protect your face and then have a wrinkly neck and decollete. So I have really been loving this. So a few makeup favorites. First is this L'Oreal Tinted Serum. I love this as a, like a foundation or something. It looks like this. I feel like I got a little bit too dark of a color, but it's been working okay in the summer. And it does have a lot of kind of shimmer, but you can, how it translates on to the skin because it's so lightweight. It just gives you, I feel like the perfect base. I'm wearing it today and I just love, it's super easy to apply. I've seen reviews of the complaints of the dropper. I actually like the dropper. A pump would be nice uh, because they say that when you put it in, it gets really messy. So because of that, I'm just really careful when I put the little dropper back in and I haven't really gotten a huge mess. So that's the only downside to this. The next makeup product is my Merit Bronzing Stick. I'm also wearing this today. This was sent to me, but I just love, I feel like I picked a really good color for my skin tone. I got the color Leo. I just love this. It gives me such a good color and I feel like it contours and bronzes and it blends out so easily. I just love this. I haven't really bought a bronzing stick, cream stick or something before. I know there's a few out there, but I just, I really love this. Uh, along with that, I've been really loving their, what's this, a uh, complexion stick? perfecting complexion stick. I didn't know if I would like this or not, but I genuinely love this so much. The color is a perfect match for me. You can use it as a concealer or a foundation. I've been using this every single time I wear my makeup. Today I used my new Smashbox concealer that I had in a haul before because I got sent this around the same time and I've just been using this and I thought I should try this Smashbox concealer that I bought in case I don't like it. I can still return it within the return window. And, I mean, it was okay, honestly. I think I might return it because I love this so much more. I'd rather use this, and I don't want the Smashbox one to go to waste. The next favorite I have is a deodorant. It's a secret deodorant. It's aluminum-free. I feel like I finally found a really good aluminum-free deodorant, and it got better because... I could only ever find this secret one in a solid, so it was a solid white deodorant. This one's a clear one. I feel like it works so well. It doesn't have talc or aluminum. I don't know how it compares like on the natural side of how natural deodorant can be, but for not having aluminum, that's like the main concern for me in a deodorant. This is so good and it actually works. It lasts a long time and it actually works because all the other 
natural deodorants that are aluminum free don't really work for me and they irritate my armpits but not this one and the fact that I found this one that's clear a dream a dream my only complaint about it before with the solid one was that it would make my clothes a little white with the you know the solid white deodorants but this one's clear it's just the perfect deodorant I, uh, I can't really find another scent other than this lavender one but I don't really care and I've found the clear one at Walmart and I think I've only found this one maybe at Target in the solid clear one but I always find them at Walmart so sometimes I have to make a special trip to Walmart for this deodorant also though a side note Walmart has really cute kids clothes I feel like they have cuter kids clothes than like Target so <laughs> that's the tea Walmart has the cuter kids clothes for sure and it's cheaper which is nice only a few more products I feel like this video is so long so I'm gonna try to hurry it up if you guys watch my videos on a regular basis you know I use this all the time but in case you're new and you have curly wavy hair this is the best product this is the best air dry cream the curl smith weightless air dry cream it's a leave-in conditioner i love this stuff it's probably like my fifth tube i should honestly they make a bigger bottle i shouldn't make it but i should buy that one it's 40 dollars. this one's 27 but this lasts me a long time and i have long hair and a lot of it it makes my hair this like loose wave loose wave like texture if i let my hair air dry without this cream in it my hair gets pretty curly like i can make my hair be pretty coily and curly which is so cute and beautiful i do love but it's so heavy that the bottom ends up getting straight because the coils aren't that tight on the bottom so this, the, it only looks good for one day because it'll be super curly one day and look cute. But by the second day, my the bottom is like straighter and then the top is still really curly, especially when my hair is this long. So I don't style it to be really curly often, honestly, because I just, the second and third day, it just doesn't look the best. So this cream, I feel like if you have straighter hair, it'll give you like a nice little wave. I, j I don't know, it just like makes my curly ish hair just the best consistency this is like three day old hair so it's not the clearest right now of like how it makes my hair look but i just love how it makes my hair be so if you have like anywhere near wavy hair i would definitely try that air dry cream it's the only product i use on after i wash my hair on most days and oh, it's just a dream it's just a dream okay staying on hair care my hair has just been a lot drier in pregnancy usually I have oily hair uh, especially like my oily scalp but I have been having dry hair and especially the ends have been really dry I feel like nothing is making them feel hydrated but lately I've been using these two products and these are heavy duty do these are heavy duty moisturizing hair products and my hair still feels kind of dry so that's like gonna tell you how dry my hair has been i've been using this amica so oh soul food nourishing mask i've had this since december you guys and i do this thing where like because this is for me i consider this expensive it's like 40 or 50 dollars for this mask and when i i love the smell of it and i love how it makes my hair feel so instead of using it all the time I don't want to use it so I can save it and have it for longer but then I end up just not using it so I don't know why I do that but <laughs> I've been using it a lot more lately because my hair just needs the moisture and I just love this hair mask I will repurchase I will probably hesitate because it's kind of expensive but the soul food nourishing mask I love this and also my husband loves the smell of this so I do want to maybe order their hair perfume. I feel like he's home. I don't know if he's home or not, so I keep looking for him. I want to order the perfume or maybe like get the shampoo or something because he always loves the smell of this. Anyways, I love this hair mask. It's super moisturizing, thick. It just it smells so good. I should smell it right now. 
So if you have a little bit of money to splurge, I would highly recommend that nourishing mask. Well, along with that, I've been using this conditioner by, you can tell, by Redken, which I was saying I love, I've been loving Redken shampoo and conditioner. This is their all soft conditioner, which is a heavy duty conditioner. And also there, they have the shampoo. I haven't tried the shampoo. I've also heard it's really moisturizing. Heavy duty. It's like, it's like a hair mask. You pump, when you pour it onto your hand, I wish I've gotten a pump, but when I squeeze it out into my hand, it's thick, like the mask. <laughs> and this is your daily conditioner. So don't get this if you have fine hair. I feel like it'll be way too heavy for your hair. But if you have like uh, normal to medium to thick hair, and you need moisture, this will be your best friend. I feel like I'm putting a hair mask on my hair every time I use this on just like regular wash days. Uh, so much so that if you don't, I've made the mistake of not rinsing it out well enough and my hair is kind of like greasy. So you have to be sure to wash it out really well, but it moisturizes your hair. Let me tell you, if you have dry hair, I've been using both of those products interchangeably. <laughs> my hair still feels dry and they are moisturizing. Um moisturizing like hair products so that's how dry my hair has been lately but they do make a huge difference so i've been loving those going along with the skin the hair care the redkin volume injection shampoo i don't really ever like want more volume in my hair because i mean this is three day old hair and i feel like it's stuck to my head but it's pretty voluminous still it's not because of the shampoo my hair is just like this <laughs> this shampoo gets your hair so clean so i don't know if i i keep telling you guys i have oily hair right i don't know if it's because i've been using the shampoo that it's not been oily on my scalp because it gets your hair insanely clean or if it's like a combo so we'll see after i'm not pregnant anymore and if my hair goes back to being oily but the shampoo if you need your hair to get clean this is the shampoo sometimes i can go like seven days without washing my hair and i feel like it's because of the shampoo. Okay, last hair care one is my wet brush. I've had this brush in my drawers for years. I probably bought it at like TJ Maxx or something. I started using this because I couldn't find my wide tooth comb when I moved because it was like packed up and I could only find this wet brush. But this took me by surprise. I was brushing my hair and it just glide all the knots. Like I do brush my hair before I shower usually but it just, oh my gosh, like it was just such a nice experience. And that particular time when I first used it, I hadn't brushed my hair before the shower. So my hair was a little tangly and knotted up and it just got them out so nice. I understand the hype around the wet brush. I don't know if I just hadn't used it on wet hair before because I try to just use my white tooth comb because when you have like curly hair, you don't really want to like brush your hair too much. So, I don't know, but I just have been absolutely loving this wet brush. So, any wet brush, I have this, like, little designed one. Now on to one that I didn't realize how much I loved. I don't have it here. It's in my sh shower. It's my shower filter, you guys. I have, I got the shower head to attach to, you know, whatever rental we're in. But I also got this shower filter. I don't know the brand. I know it's from Amazon, so I'll put it on the screen and link it down below and all that stuff. But it's supposed to clear out your the hard water. I didn't realize how much I loved this or like how, what benefits I was getting from the shower filter because I have used it for so long that when we move when we were in the middle of moving and we were staying with family, obviously my shower filter is packed up and I wasn't using it and we stayed at our family's house for about a month or so. My scalp was so dandruffy, so dry. My hair just changed so much. Maybe that's why I didn't like the Pureology shampoos. I don't know, because that's when I was using them. I just noticed such a difference. And then right when I got to this house and we got our shower, shower filter put on, I just, my hair hasn't been dandruffy again, so it was night and day, like I noticed such a difference and I'm like, wow, I didn't realize how much that shower filter was really doing for my hair. So if you struggle with like dandruff or like scalp issues, get a shower filter. I did not realize how much this really worked until I wasn't using it. So 
definitely love that. That's like a huge favorite. Another one I don't have with me is the Molten Brown Orange Bergamot Shower Gel. I The smell of this is just like a spa. I should order another one, but it's oh, $30 for like a bottle of shower gel. And I just, I don't know, I have a hard time justifying things like that, like especially like a shower gel. Anyway, but it smells so good. Gunner loves the smell. It's like unisex. It's just like, like you're at a spa. It's so, so, so nice. I can't wait to order it again. I like want, they make, Molten Brown makes like wall scents and stuff like that for the smell. I just, it's so good. You, you have to try it, you guys. Uh, I don't know where they sell it. I know you can get it on Amazon or moltenbrown.com. They might sell it at Nordstrom. I'm not sure. Last two products that I have here for body care is, so I am pregnant. You guys know this, hopefully. I've mentioned it a few times in this video. But I've been trying to moisturize my skin to, you know, help with all the growing belly and all of that. I know stretch marks are a big concern for people. So, I got this Naturium Biolipid Lotion. And I love this. I just repurchased this. This one's empty. I've been scraping the bottle. My only complaint about this is that I've been scraping the bottle for like a week. And there's still so much lotion in there. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it out. And it's like quite a bit of lotion that stays back in the tube. So that's like my only complaint. Is that maybe I wish it came like in a tub. Or it's a lotion, not a cream. So why would it come in a tub? But maybe like a squeeze tube or I don't know I don't know I guess this is like a common thing for lotion bottles they just get left behind the lotion but I've been scraping this for a week and I still have so much to get out so a lot gets left in this after the pump stops picking it up but I repurchased it it's just really nice it sinks into the skin really nice I hate when lotion doesn't sink in I actually haven't used lotion forever but when I got pregnant, I've been really good about it. Just taking care of like my body skin to help with the growing belly. Along with that, so I put that all over at nighttime. I shower. That's why I've, that's why I've been really into taking my makeup off in the shower. Because every single night I take a body shower and go ahead and take my makeup off. You know, wash my face in the shower. Because I like to put lotion on my whole body. And then I take this Emu oil. I also got this on Amazon. Actually, my aunt-in-law gave me some of this when I was staying with her, and I loved it. I don't really like body oils because I feel like they don't ever really sink in. It's, they're really nice because they make your skin really soft, but I'm like, what's the point if they get all over your house? I feel like they get on the couch and stuff. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, they don't really sink in for me, so I haven't really used them. But the, the emu oil, I don't know what it is about emu oil. It's so lightweight that it just, it sinks in. After 30 minutes, it's like sunk into your skin, genuinely, which I have not found with an oil before. So I love this oil. I'll link it down below too. And I put the oil all over my belly and my hips and back and my bum and my thighs just to really help moisturize all that growing area. I won't claim that they help with stretch marks. I think stretch marks are really like a genetic thing. I do think that moisturizing does help. If you're looking for a good oil and you're pregnant or not pregnant, I would recommend this Emu oil. I was using it just straight on my body for a while, but then I had my pajamas started to like smell kind of like oil. What I started to do is put the lotion all over the body and then I put this on just my belly. And with that little bit of lotion, it kind of helps spread it out. I was using uh, CeraVe. Or no, Cetaphil body lotion. I really, I really enjoyed that one also. Uh, I just feel like this one's a little more lightweight and more, sh and like sinks in faster, and it still moisturizes the skin really well. So that's another option. Okay, I still have a few favorites, you guys. And this video is so long, so hang in there. So another pregnancy favorite is the Belly Bands. My black one is the most favorite one that I have, but I think it's in the, I have it in my laundry basket. So. Uh, you can wear your jeans or shorts with this and they come with a little button extender so you put them on your shorts and they extend you know your pants so you can actually wear them and they stay up 
and then you can hide the little gap with these little bands and I feel like they kind of like support a little bit and then you just wear your t-shirt over it and it kind of shows but that way you don't have to buy a whole new wardrobe you can still wear some of your jeans or pants and use these so I got these also on Amazon all these products I'm gonna link down below you guys if you're interested in any of, any of them last few <laughs> my massage gun I got this at Bed Bath and Beyond you don't need this specific one I think this one's from sharper image uh, but just any massage gun you guys with the move and everything I just love this one just comes like in a nice little case this one I think is $80 there's like some brand name ones that you can find I used to be a massage therapist so there's like the Theragun and like other popular ones that are like $300 but coming from a professional <laughs> from a massage therapist this one and the ones that we had at my spa they work exactly the same and this one was $80 and those other like really talked about ones are like $300 uh, so yeah this one does literally the exact same thing you know they'll claim to have like special science or whatever you guys but literally it does the exact same thing and this one's $80 and it comes in this cute little case it's like a hard case so I've been loving this on my hips on my back I actually haven't used it in a little while so I'm gonna leave it out so I can use it tonight because oh, you guys I've been helping my husband work a lot and the gun is just so nice especially when you're in your third trimester mm. okay next one is my ball <laughs> another pregnancy favorite also my ball my exercise ball you really want to have your baby positioned head down with his back facing like the outside of your belly so leaning forward a lot helps with that not leaning back and the pregnancy ball or the exercise ball can really help with that especially if you're like watching tv also it just is nice sometimes to take that pressure off your hips like i can't get comfortable on the couch so i'll sit on my ball another house favorite is these bins i've been talking about getting bins for this back area over here and i got these on amazon which i feel like sometimes when you order from amazon you don't really know what you're gonna get but i was genuinely surprised i wish i would have recorded my reaction when i opened these because i was like oh my gosh these look so nice they were 30 dollars for four bins and they're, these are huge they're 13 inches by 13 inches they are just i don't know if you can tell on the camera but they are just so such nice quality i was genuinely shocked and i feel like they look so cute in the space over there makes it look so much more organized but these bins are just such high quality i would repurchase in other colors and i like the little texturing they just look in person they just look so luxe like i didn't buy them on amazon <laughs> so i love these bins if you need new bins new storage bins i would highly recommend checking these out and they do have other sizes this brand i thought i was getting some cheap bins just to fill up the space but now like i want to keep these forever like they're so nice and sturdy and thick and just like the quality of this like texture fabric that they have on i'm coming up to the end of them you guys another favorite of mine i don't know surprised by i was like wow i'm really enjoying this is my bible app on my phone because during the move and all this stuff like i've been starting a business with my husband it's like i'm pregnant it's, everything's chaotic right now i haven't had time to like sit down and read my bible that's a lie i probably could make time but i just haven't been doing that like when i was just home and my husband had a regular job and i got to stay home all the time and like have a super slow morning and do whatever i want I could just read my Bible and journal for like an hour in the morning. I just, I haven't been able to do that. So I need to figure out how to like incorporate it in a different way. But my Bible app will send me notifications of a verse throughout the day, once or twice a day sometimes. And it's just like, I feel like God's talking to me because the verse is always 
relatable to what I'm going through or like something I needed to hear or just like a nice reminder or a sweet reminder. I, I mean, I could take, I mean, it's on my phone, so I could, in theory, read my Bible on the go, but I do like to read the, um, my actual Bible. My Bibles are right behind me, so they're accessible. I just haven't, you know, read them. I'm just being honest. They just send me these like notifications like this will get sent to me as a notification i just have really been enjoying it when a notification pops up i try to take time to make sure and read it and like take it in even though i've been so busy and chaotic i feel like it's just been a nice way to feel connected to god and like my bible so even though i'm not reading it i'm kind of reading it because i get these little notifications which i don't know i just wasn't expecting to really enjoy my notifications on my bible app so much if you don't have the bible app and you want more reminders or you're feeling like you're not really connecting with god lately because you're so busy or something and we can always you know say that's an excuse or something but i feel like god understands like he knows that we genuinely are just so busy um, and obviously we could always be perfect and just read our bible anyway but we're not perfect so if you're struggling feeling connected to the Bible or to God or something, maybe get the Bible app and allow them to send you notifications because I just get like the best verses sent to my phone every single day and it's just like, it's a really nice, sweet reminder. I've really been enjoying that. I should have put that at the beginning of the video, honestly, because this is probably the most important favorite. Well, you guys, this video has been extremely long. I hope I can cut it down so people actually watch it but I didn't realize I had so many favorites and things to mention. I'm sure there's a few others that I probably forgot to include. If there's some that I really want to mention, maybe I'll just put them in the links down below so you guys can see. So anyways, let me know if you guys love these products or you're one of my favorites is on your fails list or things that you guys like or things that you want me to try and maybe I can include them in a different favorites or fails of the month or something i've been trying to try new products so i can let you guys know about them but yeah anyways i'm gonna go now <laughs> and i will see you guys very soon for uh, my next video bye oh yeah don't forget to subscribe to the channel you guys if you're not subscribed please subscribe i am trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2023 i was starting off strong I don't know if I'm going to get there honestly now, but um, you never know. God can do anything, so <laughs> it's still my goal for the for the year, and if I don't reach it, it's going to be my goal for next year. So please subscribe. If you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys later.